Hey everyone, before we dive into this video, I just wanted to do a quick intro and explain some things uh, before you guys get started with this video. Uh, so the first thing is, is that last summer of 2020, I received the DC fast charging robustness software update that Chevy has for Chevy Bolt EVs. The software update is supposed to precondition the battery pack to allow better fast charging speeds and rates in colder exterior temperatures. One thing I do want to mention, this is my first time trying it in the winter time. Tried it in the summertime and it did fantastic. The car was charging at about 57 max kilowatts, so that's pretty good. However, what you're going to see in this video was pretty disappointing. Another thing is too, uh, there might be something about this vehicle that I do not know about. So if you guys, if you are watching and you are a Bolt driver and you have some advice for us, please let me know in the comment section because I'd really like to know um, how we can try to fix this situation in colder temperatures. Um, and one other thing too, is that I plan on going to a charge point charging station and seeing if that's any different there. Um, I checked PlugShare for this Electrify America charging station um, and this location, and there was no reports of any issues. So I'm beginning to think that it's my Chevy Bolt uh, based on that software update. So not exactly sure, but I did want to just record this intro really quick so you guys knew some of the scenario and situation of what happened with this. Um, one other thing I do want to mention is that we drove about 40 plus miles to go hiking with the heat blasting and it was sitting about 39 to 40 degrees exterior temperature. So it wasn't like it was super cold. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what happened here, but I'll let you guys watch and uh, let me know in the comment section if you do have any advice. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Everyday EV. We're here with Orchid and Harvey's back there. We just got done with the walk and we are here in Mentor, Ohio, and uh, we're gonna check out the Electrify America charging stations here. Uh, and the main reason we're here is because over the summer we got the DC uh, robustness fast charging software update that GM came out with last year to increase uh, charging speeds during colder temperatures. And it is currently, I think about 32 degrees. Uh, we just got done driving a little bit, so the battery pack is probably conditioned, but we just wanted to see what would happen with that software update. So we're gonna plug in and uh, we're gonna measure as we charge. So let's get started. You excited, Harvey? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. So we just plugged in and we're gonna start a timer to see how long this takes. Typically, uh, Chevy rates the Chevy Bolt uh, about 90 miles in about 30 minutes. Um, right now, the charge is not really pulling too much. It's sitting about 25 kilowatts, but we're gonna check back in in a few minutes. Uh, the battery should be conditioned pretty well since we've been driving and the heat has been running. Um, so. I don't really know why it's pulling such a low state of charge, but maybe it still just needs a few minutes to kick up a notch. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. So we are starting at roughly about 25%. I think there's about 40% left state of charge and uh, we're hitting about 25 kilowatts right now. And it's about 39 degrees. Uh, this software update is mainly for super cold temperatures, but uh, we really just wanted to see if it impacted and it improved the charging curve that we saw before the software update came out. Uh, as you can see, it's actually finally sunny here in Ohio, so that's good. Uh, I definitely think that that's hopefully going to help improve this, um, but I'm hoping that state of charge increases since it's uh, now dropping uh, to about 21 kilowatts. So we'll see. Check back in a few minutes. Uh, <laughs> okay, so now it is dropping below 20 kilowatts and we've been sitting here for only five minutes and nothing has uh, increased. I don't necessarily know if it's the EA charger, um, but as you can see, it is rated for 150 kilowatts. And uh, like I mentioned, it is currently about 39 degrees right now. So it should be warm enough to be pulling a uh, higher state of charge. Um, from the charger. I guess we'll just give it a few more minutes and see what happens. Sorry guys for the sun glare and all the fingerprints on our touchscreen, but I wanted to show you guys this chart. Uh, you can see the gray stands for battery conditioning, which you can see about 5% of the electricity of our driving and charging so far has gone directly to conditioning the battery pack and uh, warming it up for a higher state of charge. However, we've been here for a few more minutes and it's still sitting below 20 kilowatts. So I don't know if there's something wrong 
with this charger or if it's the car itself, um, but we're gonna give it a few more minutes. So as we're waiting for this to hopefully kick up, uh, which it doesn't seem like it is because it's been about three more minutes and uh, we're still below 50% state of charge and the charger should be pulling a lot more kilowatts than this. Uh, so uh, this is one of the complaints that we have about the Bolt is just how slow it fast charges, especially in cold temperatures. Uh, I would definitely say this car is a lot better as a commuter car than anything that would be long distance in terms of like uh, the winter time. Uh, it's kind of disappointing that we're still seeing only 18 kilowatts. Um, when other vehicles, especially in this price range that are coming out, can charge a lot faster. So I think room for improvement. But as we mentioned, uh, we're bringing this in. <laughs> Harvey, as, uh, as we mentioned, we're bringing this car in for uh, some software updates and recalls. And uh, maybe they have some type of uh, update that can fix this because this is kind of pathetic. Right, Harvey? Right? <laughs> he doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> So I think we're gonna give up. Uh, we've been here for about uh, more, a little bit more than 10 minutes and we're still pulling less than 20 kilowatts. And another thing is you can still see we're below 50% and the charging curve should be a lot higher than this. Uh, the DC fast charging robustness software update worked really well over the summertime in our other travel videos, but it's mainly meant for colder temperatures to help battery conditioning and this is just pathetic and uh, honestly not good. I really hope that there's a new software update that comes out. Well, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, pretty quick and honestly uh, kind of disappointing and surprising. Uh, this is our first time trying this. And, uh, in the winter. Yeah, in the winter, at least. Uh, you know, over the summer, like I mentioned, it worked really well. Uh, but this is really meant for cold temperatures, and it has not improved at all. In fact, I actually think it made it worse. Because we did a trip to Detroit last year, last winter, literally in freezing, actually below freezing temps, and we were still able to get 50 kilowatts. Yeah. But this time around, we're getting a lot less than half. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's not, it's not good. So if uh, any Bolt owners out there who did get that, fast charging software update has any tips or advice to let um you know make it easier in the winter time uh, let me know uh, let us know in the comment section we'd love to learn more about it maybe we did something wrong i don't think we did we conditioned the battery pack we drove with the heat on and uh we're using a incredibly high power dc fast charger so yeah i just think it's the car um which at the beginning of this, I was hoping it wasn't the case. I, I think it is. Though. I get defensive about these <laughs> <laughs> type of things. I think it is the car. <laughs> I think it is too. We're only at 38%, so it's definitely the, yeah. it's definitely the car. Yep. Oh, man. <laughs> And one other thing too, uh, the A station here is incredibly expensive. Uh, it was uh, 43 cents a kilowatt hour, and we were here for 16 minutes, and it was $2.15, uh, which is just insane. Um, Electrify America a few months ago had 31 cents a kilowatt hour here in Ohio, and they must have increased it. Um, that's ridiculous. I feel like that's really outrageous, especially if you really need to get a full charge. Yeah. That's yeah. Just, that's ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, I guess time-wise, if we had a faster charging car, maybe that would make a little bit more sense, but... But our car is really slow. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We just wasted $2.15. That's a coffee. <laughs> or we could have bought a little share of Tesla stock. So... Anyways, just wanted to complain about this. If anybody at EA is watching this video, I would definitely reconsider your pricing structure. Anyway, everyone, that's gonna be it for today's video. Uh, I know it was kind of disappointing and a slow video because we were honestly expecting to report back on a lot of better information for you guys. Um, I think I think we should try this again at a different charger, possibly a charge point charger in the Cleveland area. Um, but yeah, it's just a little disappointing. Um, but anyways, guys, uh, before we sign off, I do wanna give a big shout out to Craig Hart. He's one of my Patreons, uh, patrons. Um, if you are interested in helping me make these videos i'll have the link in the description below uh thank you craig for all your support i really do appreciate it and thank you guys for watching everyday ev make sure you like and hit that subscribe button gonna be coming out with some new content soon and uh, i do appreciate everything that you guys have done for us in terms of support so thank you guys make every single day electrifying and take care bye guys bye harvey so what do you guys think
I honestly don't know what to make of this situation. Um, my Bolt is currently sitting at a local dealership right now. It's been there for about a week to fix some open recalls. The driver's seat is broken again for a fourth time. And um, I mentioned about this uh, particular experience at this DC fast charger to see if maybe that software update is causing the issue. Uh, I know from on Facebook and some other Chevy Bolt forums, people are starting to run into issues with uh, with the software update and cold temperature charging. Um, I know just from experience, EVs uh, are efficient in the winter time, but they definitely can take a hit in terms of range and efficiency because of exterior temperature. Uh, but I'm not exactly sure if this particular situation has anything to do with it. I think it's mostly because of that software update. Um, but anyway, so let me know what you think in the comments section. Would love to hear from you guys and uh, I hope you guys are staying safe. See you guys in the next one.